Pardon? Your biggest advantage? My biggest advantage is my heart. My heart and uh, how much I want this. I want this more than anybody. No, he doesn't want this as much as me. He's been at the top. Now he's trying to scrape to cling on to relevance. Uh, it's me. I'm hungry. I've always been hungry. Hi, Michael. How was uh, the preparation for the camp? How are you feeling? It's been exceptional. It really has. Everybody says, all fighters say, the best training camp ever. But this really has been, you know, physically and mentally. Uh, I'm in a great place, I really am. So I've had great training partners, all my coaches have done a fantastic job. And my conditioning has never been so good. My strength, my power, my technique, everything. Is, and of course, it's easy to say, everything's the best it's ever been. This is the best version of myself right now. If I don't beat Anderson on Saturday night, then, well, then fair play to him, respect, credit, credit where credit's due, you know, because I'm going in there 100%. And if I don't get the job done, I'll be the first to congratulate him and say, well done. You've been very vocal about his failed drug test, and he uh, obviously claimed it was for uh, sexual purposes. Do you buy into that, or do you... Well, I, it's not a case of me buying into it. Nobody buys into that. The Athletic Commission, the scientists, the doctors that evaluate all of these things don't buy into it. They know it's not possible. That is not that is not the case here, and, you know, there you go. And uh, well, it's, it's an excuse. It's a weak excuse for that. Do you think... Well, I know you've been asked this already. Do you think it's put a black mark on his... Uh, on, on, there will on forever legacy. be an yeah. asterisk above the name of Aston Anderson Silva. Okay, and uh, obviously you fought against people who have uh, yes. been on TRT and, sure. on, and on steroids. Uh, do you do you want to like knock Anderson Silva out to make a statement to everyone that you can I, do things clean? As I or? just said, you know, I'm not going into this fight with any personal things against Anderson Silva. For me, this is about me. You know, Anderson Silva is the opponent. Of course, it's a guy I've wanted to fight for a long time. Um, but I'm not going into this with any kind of ill will in my heart. You know, I'm going out there to win a contest, to win a fight, to represent my nation, and and achieve the next level in my career. You know, the fact that Sanders is silver, the fact he's tested positive, that is inconsequential. I'm not interested in that. I'm here to win and represent myself, my friends, my family, my coaches, and my country. So last week, um, during the Open Workouts in LA, you two met, you know, how was it for you? Because did it surprise you that Anderson tried to hug you? I hugged him as well. Yeah, no, of course. You know, he was, um, he was playing, playing little mind games, you know, being passive aggressive. And I was, you know, yeah, of course. Listen, I have no ill will to Anderson. I wish him the best. I really do. Uh, I was disappointed because of the test and things like that. I was. I was the biggest Anderson Silver fan in the world. And I, I loved watching him fight. When when I lived in England, I would stay up till four in the morning every time he fought just to watch him live. He was a big inspiration for me. So I was disappointed. But this kind of thing, you know, like talking about this, it's like something like to get into his mind. And you think that you you got into his mind? I don't know. You, you tell me. He, he doesn't look happy. He doesn't look happy. I'm happy. I'm cool, calm, collected. I've got a smile on my face. I'm here to do business, competing in the greatest sport in the world. I'm very happy. This is a great day. Two just faced off, right? How was it? It was good for me. It, was good. it didn't look too good for him. You know, he was he's very intense. He was very angry. He looks, he looks very angry. Anderson, relax. Everything's going to be okay. I went, I went over Anderson. Where do you think it puts you on the division? Well, only one other person has beaten Anderson, Chris Weidman. So, of course, I think that puts me in a good line to fight for the title. Michael, the arena sold out in 27 seconds. Uh, can you just give us a word on the, what kind of atmosphere you're expecting on Saturday night? Well, of course, every time I fought here, you know, the, the British public have really supported my career and, and, and I want to thank everybody. It blows my mind, you know, for a working class man from the middle of nowhere to get the support from the entire nation. It blows my mind, it really does. And I can't wait for Saturday night. Every time I fought in England, the reception has been mind blowing. And I'm really looking forward to that. It's something I'll take to my grave. I can't put it into words. Uh, but um, yeah, thank you everybody for the support.